Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to NP Station. Today we are going to be coding an animated project in JavaScript using Code Guppy. This project is called Bouncing Ball and it is super fun to code. Now before we get started, I want to let you all know that there are two other videos in this Code Guppy playlist. The first one is I just showed you guys this coding platform itself and how it works. And in the second video, we actually drew a house in JavaScript. So make sure to check those two videos out. But today, please do follow along with me in typing the code for today's project because you will want to see the amazing output. But now, let's get coding. Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to be coding our bouncing ball project using Code Guppy. So you can see here, I've opened Code Guppy on my computer. And what you are going to want to do is click on this Code Now button. By doing that, it will create a new file for you. So let's start coding. But first, before we do, I just want to explain this uh, bouncing ball project to you guys and how it's really going to look like. So um, an example of this project is is sometimes especially when you're like in restaurants and on the TVs when there's no internet connection you will see that the company's logo will be bouncing around the TV screen and it will bounce off the four borders of the screen so that's basically what we're gonna do in this project but except for instead of using a company logo we're just gonna be using a ball so first let's go ahead and just name this project here to bouncing ball and now let's start coding so first we're going to start off by creating uh, two variables which is our x and y so um, you can see that i'm using our let keyword and that is going to allow us to define variables now what we'll do is we'll have our function loop and here make sure to open a set of curly brackets what we'll do here is we're going to use this clear function all right and i will explain this clear function when we run the code so it'll be more clear to you guys on what um, this code does and what we'll also do is create a circle here so we'll have our x and y variables and 20 or actually we'll make this 10 and 10 will be the radius of our circle. So make sure to also include semicolons for all of these lines. In JavaScript, that is something unique, which is um, e almost every line of code will have a semicolon at the end. So if we run this, you can see that there is this tiny uh, part of a circle on this corner of our screen. So that uh, is where the circle is being printed out. But now what we can do is create two more variables dx which will have it equal to two and we'll also have dy which will also be equal to two so this dx and dy is delta x and delta y that will help our ball basically bounce on each four sides of our uh, window so we're going to use those two variables here in our loop function so we'll have x plus equals dx right and then y plus equals dy so now if you run this uh, you can see that our ball starts moving on our screen but instead of bouncing off the bottom border it just keeps continuing going straight down off the off the window so let's go ahead and fix that now and to do that remaining in our loop function we're going to create a if condition here we'll have x is greater than 800 and by opening those curly brackets inside what we'll do is have our dx equal to negative 2 and that's all we'll do for this if condition we'll make another one for our y so here instead of 800 we'll do greater than 600 and in the curly brackets we'll do the same thing dy is equal to negative 2 all right, so let's just go ahead and run this. And let me make that full screen. 
So you can see that now it's actually going to bounce off the bottom, it bounced off the right side, and it goes straight um, off of our screen on the top border. So let's fix that now. So um, to do that, what we're going to do is in our if conditions, we're going to use this or operator or or operation, right? And here we'll have x is greater than if x is greater than 800 or x is less than zero. And we're going to do the same thing for here with that or operator. And then we'll have y is less than zero. So let's run this, see if that works. It should bounce off there, the right side. And let's see if it bounces off the top of our window. And it does not. So let's see, um, let's find out why it is doing that. Oh, and there is a very good explanation for this. So when our ball bounces off the top of our screen, or first let me start off by saying that when the ball is moving upwards, so when the Y value is increasing, it is actually sub subtracting one. And when it's, so when it hits this top border, the ball should actually start increasing or adding one to come down the screen. So that's why this should actually be a positive two. But we can do a little bit of a short, uh, a trick here. So instead of saying dx is equal to negative two or dy is equal to negative two, we're gonna say dx um, multiplied by negative one. We'll do the same thing here, except with dy. So dy multiplied by negative one. Now if we run this, let's go ahead and see if that works. All right, so bounce it off the bottom, the right side. Hopefully it bounces off. Yes, it does. Now let's check the left side. And oh, let me see what I did wrong here. And there we go. I put a plus sign that should be multiplication. And let me just increase the speed a little so It'll be a little bit faster for us. There we go, so now the, the speed has increased. Bottom, the left, all right, the top is working. Now let's check the left side. And there we go. Great job, guys. You have successfully created a bouncing ball on your, in Code Guppy. So, now let's make this a little bit more cool to watch, right? So instead of having this plain old white circle, how about we change the color to light blue? Well, I'll do light blue. You can choose any color you would like. Now, if you run this, you can see that our circle is now blue, which is great. Let's also go ahead and change the radius of our circle to 20. So now our circle is much larger, easier to see. You can um, also do a lot with the speed here. So our DX uh, and DY variables, so you can change this to five which will increase the speed. So you can see here now it's much faster on bouncing on our window. Another thing we can do is create here after the clear function, we can create a rectangle on our screen. Oops, let me just fix this. All right, there we go. So in our rectangle here, we'll just give in those values, 0, 0, 7.99, and we'll also have 5.99. Oh, I forgot the semicolon. All right, there we go. So what this will do is we're just creating like a little border on the side of our, on our window. So if we run this, you can see that the entire screen has now turned the same uh, light blue color as our circle. That's because this rectangle function is just taking the fill color that we have set for the circle. It's assigning it for the rectangle as well. So we don't want a fill well, I don't want to fill for the rectangle. I just want it to be white. So that's why I've had this no fill function. So if you run this, you can see that now we have this border on our window. So it's a little bit easier to see where our ball is bouncing off. And the background for the rectangle is white. So this is pretty cool. Now what we can do is I'm just going to go ahead and save this file. You can see it's saved now. 
and I'm going to go ahead and save a copy as well. Alright, so now our bouncing ball file has been saved and this is the output for this project. But now let's go ahead and since we have saved a copy, here I'm going to name this bouncing ball 2. We're going to make this even, we're going to spice things up a bit. All right. First thing we'll do is we are going to vary, make the radius of our circle vary each frame. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I want to show you that is very interesting is, well, first let me just run this and you can see this is how our first bouncing ball project is running on our screen. Now I want to show you what will happen if we take off this clear function. So let me explain what this clear function is doing. When we run this code, the background of the um, code is deleting every frame. So if we delete this, that means that the background will not delete and every frame will be printed out on our screen. So this is how it will look like. I think that is super cool because every circle is being printed out on our screen. So it's creating this super cool pattern and this or design as the output. So let me just run this for a few seconds just to show you this awesome pattern that is being created. And it's just by deleting that clear function. So now every frame is being printed out. So now what I want to do is actually increase the radius of our circle each frame. All right. So to do that, what we'll uh, start off by doing is here in our circle uh, function, line 13, I think 20 is a good radius. So what we'll do is we're just going to add 10 and then multiply this using our sinus function. Oops, let me fix this. There we go. And we'll have uh, multiplied by sine. And here we'll have our frame count. All right. So by doing this, let's go ahead and see how this will work. So if you run it, you can see here that the radius has actually decreased. Now it's growing again and then it decreases in size. So I think um, the speed for this is kind of it's too slow. I want it to oscillate a little bit faster, but overall, this is the design that it is creating. The radius of our circle is just increasing and decreasing each frame. Now let's go ahead and make this a little bit faster. So to do that, we will here do uh, multiply that by 10. So if we do that, you can see that it is creating this amazing, really funny design on our window. So the radius of our circle is increasing uh, every frame, but it's much more faster. So it's creating this type of really cool design on our window here. So I think this is really cool. Good job for all of you guys who created this project. Um, I love doing animations in JavaScript, especially using Code Guppy because you can create these amazing projects and you can make design how design it however you would like by changing the color, the speed. And if you want, you could have just kept it as uh, you could be using that clear function. So let me just go ahead and show you that if we did have that clear function here from earlier. Oh, let me go ahead and add that semicolon in there. So if we do that, you can see that it's only our one circle that is being displayed and it just keeps on increasing and decreasing in size. But I like, I like the version where the clear function is not there because of the design it is creating. But that is all for today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed creating these uh, bouncing ball projects using code Guppy in JavaScript. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to NP Station and keep an eye out for more videos, uh, more projects in JavaScript as well as in Python. That's all for today, everyone. Keep reading, keep coding, and stay safe.